Von Ray's calling out his ex-co-host, Big Sexy, for allegedly running fake giveaways. It's Mount TV, bringing you all the latest headlines, breaking stories, drama, cloud chasers, and everything trending in these streets. Now say it ain't so. It's a whole mess out here this it's week. It's a whole mess, and Von Ray's telling us it is so. Yes. Mr. Big Sexy is up there on his IG running fake giveaways. Offer, likes, engagement, you name it. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and check out what Von Ray said. I didn't even gonna speak on this, to be honest. Um, but after having a conversation with somebody today, I feel like a lot of people was misled of why. And let, let's be clear, if I'm gonna talk about something, ain't no subliminals, I'm gonna put names on them bullets, I'm not gonna sit here and talking cold and, oh, this, that, and the third. No, if I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna talk about it. And that's just what it is. So I feel like people are misled on why Big Sexy Official left the podcast. Um, I just had a conversation with somebody and don't be alarmed because I never exposed whoever I had this conversation with. Um, but for some reason, he's telling people that he left the podcast because I didn't want to do an episode with his sister. That's totally false. OK, um, I ain't even going to get into him involving himself in my relationship with my fiance and being messy with that. That's besides the point, because I shouldn't even let that happen. Right. Um, but we're going to stick on to the topic with moving forward. Big Sexy goes and posts he's giving away a car. Puts the podcast third party, puts the podcast involved by saying he's been working so hard with the podcast and using the podcast money to buy this car and give it away. So that's like third handedly involving my business and myself in it. Now, mine never paid Big Sexy a dime to do the podcast. So how could you ever buy a car with the podcast money to give a car away? And mind that we, you know, you told me it was fake. So let's not even play subliminal games here. Um, So when it came back around for your sister to do the podcast, you said you wanted your sister and her boyfriend. And the boyfriend is the guy who did the car video with you. And I just felt like for myself and what I stand on in my beliefs, I just didn't want to fuck with it because I know one day I'm going to be involved with this shit coming out that you was doing scamming that shit for followers and likes and views. OK, um, and I just didn't want to fuck with it. Maybe I didn't voice it the right way or maybe I didn't communicate why I didn't want to do it. But you're right. I did not want to do it because I didn't want to have your sister boyfriend who you just did a scamming car video with and her on and mix myself into that bullshit. OK, if that was your reasons for what you want to walk away, cool. I don't give a fuck. I'm not in it for likes and views. I've been doing this shit for a minute. I may not be a millionaire off of it, but I enjoy what I do. For anybody that was confused or anything like that, I'm sorry. I appreciate everything that we did do while we did it. But sometimes I just got to stand on 10 as a man. If I don't fuck with it, I'm not going to do it. And if you didn't understand that, I'm sorry. We just two different people. Like you said, our views are different. Our morals are different. I'm not with hopping on the podcast every week and you speaking about women and what women need and this, that, and the third. And then you go post a fake car video and you got single mothers and women in need of a car and you just pull on their heartstrings for likes and views and you ain't giving away shit but likes and views, my nigga. That's it. That's why I didn't want to do it. Sorry. To be honest, I feel like dealing with the podcast he really didn't want to do it but i'm gonna let you know one thing i'm never gonna let nobody play with my name i'm never gonna let nobody do that a nigga can have a million more followers than me i don't give a fuck i'm gonna stand on truth and beliefs and whatever you think you finna say that i didn't told you in my secrets go ahead and say wow it. he's really exposing it yeah and now you know what this kind of shocked me but i'm thinking it's been a while since von ray's been in the headlines but with that being said you know i thought they had good chemistry on the on the cast i want to say podcast because it was kind of like a you know that type of show but anyways they had good chemistry you know i want to say guest after guest they just had a lot to say they kept the show interesting you know i heard von ray uh come out months ago and say he was funding the podcast himself right um, and i thought that meant that he was paying big sexy but in this video he said he wasn't i know because you know big sexy was <laughs> claiming he was giving away a car with the money from the podcast even tagged the brand in there and that's where he said uh-uh-uh you're not gonna involve me but it was just you know crazy he's not paying i don't know that's just kind of weird to me to even i mean but then it's not because you know how many people have we seen and watched and you can tell right off whenever they're you, you could just not you know when a scam is a scam i think what really got to him was you know the, the whole him including the podcast period if he was going to give away a car it was going to be on his behalf and his behalf only but the whole concoction of the story made no sense and he was like i'm not having that because especially aren't fake giveaways like a ftc or fcc violation one of those uh violations and you can get really big penalties for that it's fraud it's it, it's embarrassing how people are really out here trying to make a bag like especially any committing way. fraud for views you yeah, know th there's rules to this shit and what are you doing just being a mess out here and especially Absolutely. bringing other people's brands into it right this is a a god-fearing christian man what are you doing trying to involve someone like that in there of course he's going to come out and expose you like He's not going to stand for that. You're not playing his face like that. And then when the risks come down to it, they're like going to probably try to pinpoint it. Like you were involved because this is your podcast. 
Y'all, this is where y'all collab on this. I'm sure it's like a DJ Envy type right, of situation. Exactly. Where uh, other things are going to be called into speculation. And it's, that's just negative press that no one should want. I think it just comes down to this. You have to be real selective on who you choose to be your co-host. Because down the line, you end up, you know, colliding. Look, Funky Dineva and Claudia George. Like, we didn't know that they had beef. Like, you don't know how long that Vaughn and Big Sexy's been having beef in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, little things that just push your buttons well like you said big sexy got involved in his relationship now i don't know what that means yeah, <laughs> that sounds a little out confused. there but you know if he was trying to i mean the podcast was about like you know relationships and stuff like yeah, that absolutely. so it kind of makes sense absolutely. but on the other hand it's like you know what lines was he crossing to where and especially not paying him i'm sure that caused some tension in the relationship as well you guys are you know getting millions of views on some of these on facebook and Vaughn came out a few times talking about the pays over there on Facebook. I'm getting, you know, paid over there. Right. Okay, then why isn't your host getting paid? Yeah, that's, that's odd. weird. That's so odd. Like, no additional sponsorships, affiliates, anything that, you know, he's not garnishing some type of little chump change. Either way, that doesn't know. excuse Big Sexy coming out and, you know, using the name to scam yeah. and just scamming in general. Yeah, just dragging him into it, just saying, no, we. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. A mess, a mess. It Tell is. us what you guys think in the comment section down below. Big Sexy is allegedly taking posts down. I've There's a few posts still up there of these giveaways. I don't know what all this involves or if anything was ever given away at all. In the comment section, there is girls saying, thank you. I'm just going to help me. There's a, quite a handful of girls saying they got some of these prizes. Okay. So I don't know how real, how fake. Von Ray saying he told him that it was fake. So, I mean, you got to go ahead and believe him. Yeah, I just noticed quite a few. There was quite a few. I wasn't sure if it was the same one that he was promoting or, you know, a different one. Yeah, it was always a different one. Okay. Which see, that... gives another, you know. <laughs> red flag. Red flag. <laughs> Where's the IRS, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you. Look. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised I'm not. either. Especially when the podcast, you know, the host separates. There's always some sort of scam and a scandal. Well, I think it's funny because once you go to his timeline, that's really all you see. <laughs> I, I wasn't really getting any of his personality on it. So I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, Anything it's no for surprise. that engagement. That's, yeah. you know, what it all comes that's down crazy. to. He's trying to get some engagement that's on. That's absolutely not. You know, these heart fail giveaways. Mm -hmm. So tell us yeah. what you guys think in the comment section down below. Join the Mouth Mob by hitting like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. It's Mouth TV. Bring all latest headlines, breaking stories, drama, oh, cloud chasers, and everything, everything trending, trending in these streets. streets. We out.